We're at Maxwell Flat now on the northern side of the ranch, and this is one of the largest uh, grassland, native perennial grassland projects that we've done. And you're looking at a field that's essentially pure native grasses. There's a couple of patches of non-natives, but everything that you can really see that's brown here is all purple needle grass, which has come to dominate this area. And if you, if you look down uh, along the road here, you can see, you can see a line from when we originally seeded the the grasses. All those are those are all bunches of of um, purple needle grass, and we've just gotten a really really great stand here. Um, there's a fence in the background here that's set up to protect this riparian area from actually from grazing and from deer and you can see some plantings that we've done uh, in the background here and we planted this almost two miles of uh, this is a tributary of Dry Creek uh, now we're we're in the Dry Creek watershed on the East Fork side and um, you can see some of the, the native oaks um, and other plantings that we've done in the background we noticed when we put this fence up and this is why I say it's probably not just grazing with cattle, that as soon as we put this up and this area was not grazed very heavily, that all kinds of little seedlings were coming up. So there's probably something with native species, deer and others, that were, they were eating the small green stuff that was coming up. Now you told me that a lot of people were surprised that you got these kind of results with the uh, grassland restoration. Yeah, and this it just had really ideal um, conditions where we were, we were able to burn two years in a row and um, we've actually grazed this uh, a couple of times and uh, we've also mowed it and we've really been able to keep the, the non-natives down with those different practices. And um, it, I think this spot was just, it just wanted to have native grasses. There goes that northern harrier flying by. And, you know, we're, we're collecting scientific um, data, but anecdotally, we've seen a really big shift in the, uh, in the grassland birds like savanna, sparrow, there's a lot more Lincoln sparrow. Rod found a Vesper sparrow, which is a very unusual species for here, and it's a grassland species that's more common in the Midwest and, and Rockies. So anecdotally, we've seen more grassland bird species showing up here. Northern Harrier that just flew by is usually found more in, in grasslands and, and um, marsh areas. 